Ryan Day. He's 3-0 down to Ali Carter. And Carter so far, I think, has played some very nice snooker indeed. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if 3-0 became 4-0. And talking of scores, let me give you the, the very latest results. Mark Joyce beat Fergal O'Brien 4-3 in what turned out to be quite a marathon. Thanawata Tirupong Pai Boon did beat Jamie O'Neill 4-2 as we suspected. Latest scores, Luca Bressel 3-1 upon Paul Davison. Michael White 2-1 upon Stephen Maguire. It's 2-1 Marcus Campbell over Andrew Higginson. Sam Bird has taken the first frame from Lu Chuang. Actually, he's just gone one each now there. The winner of this match will play either Ian Burns or Charlie Walters. Early days in frame one of that match. Ben Wollaston leads Chow Yupeng 1-0 and looks like going 2-0 ahead. And here we're going to have a re -ruck. Can't really blame them, Joe. No, I, it, there was a time when they'd have messed about for 20 minutes and then had a re rack, but both players are green, so not wasting any time at all. Both players want to get on with it, don't they? Get in amongst the balls, make big breaks. Especially the guy that's winning 3 0. And so just finishing off those latest scores, I can tell you James Cahill has taken a 1-0 lead over the reigning world seniors champion Nigel Bond. And John Higgins, he's 1-0 down to Mark King who made a 60 plus break in the opening frame. Well, it was a, it was worth a go, as long as he kept that cue ball below the black. But he's lost the cue ball, and he's left an easy red, an easy starter for Ali Carter. One. And he may not get another shot the way that Ali Carter's playing. just above the black if he could land on that one in such a way as to play the cannon to the other red Six. release the black that could really open things up he's got the angle on the blue to play for it this time round needs to finish high on this red I think he's done that. Absolutely perfect. Now he could decide to go into them if he can see enough of this black. Or he could play for that loose red. Well, he split them beautifully. But can he see the red? Well, he can't see the one to the right corner. He can see the difficult one to the left middle. Fraught with danger, though. Right up in the bulk area. That's a tough pot. Hardly any pocket there. Has to be so accurate. Four. 
Well played. And what a great chance now. If the Reds open. Because he's not played a great deal in Euro Tour so far this season, he's 80th in the Order of Merit. Now, we talk a lot about this. The PTC Grand Final is a very lucrative affair. It's the top 24 qualifiers from the Euro Tour, which consists of eight tournaments. This is the fourth of them. And the top eight qualifiers from the Asian Tour. Again, that's a, a four-tournament deal. And so Carter needs to get some points on the board. And... The way he's playing, significant points could be yielded right here in Germany. Yes, and the tournament that Phil's talking about there carries £125,000 prize money. First prize. So everybody wants to get into it. And it doesn't matter your status within the game, there's no guarantees you are going to qualify. Sean Murphy won the first PTC Grand Final. But he didn't make the next two. 40. Surely he should have been back as defending champion, Phil. There's no clause for that. I heard David Hendon saying this morning, making a very good point that... The PTC Grand Final is the only event in snooker where the defending champion isn't guaranteed to go back the following year. Proved by Sean Murphy. Now, he could play a little cannon here, not to the red directly above the black, but the one above that one to the left. And that would leave him on choice of reds, but it's a delicate shot to play. He could also play for the open red to the right of the pink. Go into them. There's quite a few shots he could play. Chose to play for this one just at the back of the pack there, but has he got the angle to run through for the black? Using the red, he has. Has he left himself hampered? Forty nine points in front. He's approaching the winning line, but this is a tough pot. he could just get to it and cue it and again a very good positional pot Six. and he's going to take some beating in this frame of mind Ali Carter he's played excellent today so far Surprisingly, hasn't made a century break yet this season in professional competition. I think he could remedy that right here and finish off with a flourish. I think you're right, Phil. But he was thinking about winning this frame a match. 65. And this pink will put paid to that. Generous round of applause from the audience for frame ball, frame and match ball. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a mouse in the arena yesterday. I think that was just a, a plain old insect. Seventy-two. 
And now it's plain old sailing. He's made 164 centuries. And this could possibly be the highest break of the tournament so far. Largest break seen here in Firth this year so far is Thepchara Nu, 126. That was the Ties highlight earlier this morning when he beat Neil Robertson 4-0. Another story there, of course, is that Robertson turned up late and was docked the opening frame. Well, there's the 100. Could have finished better on this red, though. 100. That's a pity, but a really comprehensive performance from Ali Carter. It wasn't Ryan's day. Ali Carter completes a 4-0 whitewash in very impressive fashion. Breaks of 52, 71 and 100 to finish.